Hi everyone, Greg Stops, Pioneer Agronomist in southwestern Ontario, here at our Corteva AgriScience Agronomy Hub in Tavistock, Ontario. I wanted to talk a little bit about corn populations today, so I'm using this trial that we've got going on here with 0075 chrome uh, as a backdrop. But oftentimes, and probably one of the most common questions I get as an agronomist is, what population should I plant my hybrid at? And that really does change based on the hybrid. Uh, many of our recommendations for planting populations are hybrid specific and based on number of years of population testing internally as a research organization. Uh, there's also definitely distinct geographic differences that we find and we tease out uh, in the field as sales reps and area agronomists. So I would highly encourage you if you have questions about what the correct planting population is for the hybrid you're planting to reach out to your local sales rep and ask them for their advice. Reach out to your local agronomist and ask them for their opinion. Oftentimes um, we do recommend a specific population for specific hybrids. Okay, Some are far more tolerant of high populations and have a more of an optimal yield potential at a higher population and others have a more optimal yield potential at lower populations. It really does change pretty dramatically. The other thing that we've learned this year especially in southwestern Ontario with some really cool planting conditions is the importance of if you're planting ahead of cold or wet events increasing that population a little bit. So targeting that normal or that uh, um, optimal population uh, for the individual hybrid and then increasing it a little bit ahead of those events. It can be really, really critical in maintaining or achieving a better stand and overall yield potential in your fields.